welcome to my in-house store. <laughs> I am not at a shop. I am in my kitchen. Check out all these beautiful pots. Different ceramics, mugs, potteries, goblets. There's even an ice cream van over there. We've got jugs, coffee canister, tea bags, vase or vase. Uh, why do I wake up feeling like this mug and a watering pot? I've got some candle holders. I've got some incense holders. Uh, this one is actually piggy bank or do you actually call that a piggy bank or a duck bank? Now I've got a shoe bank. <laughs> so the little boots uh, aren't made for walking. And this one, <laughs> the cute little uh, ceramic uh, porcelain glass. Look, candle holder. And I'm turning this into a pot. Just don't drop it. There you go. Drill a hole in it. And then put some succulents in it. So these are basically some of my collection of different uh, potteries and ceramic and animals we've got animals it's 12 o'clock at night and I'm here doing a video on showing you what pots to, uh, to use so these ones actually these ones most of these came from Kmart there's a sloth with no holes it's got no holes in it hello and I am drilling a hole in that one because I want that to put out I want to put that outside and llama hello llama Mr. Ali Bulbul over here mug look at you so cute egg cup or eggnog I don't know what that is for jelly beans lolly jars grandma's lollies you've got what are you a goblet little ceramic thing uh, you could drill a hole on this one so this I'm just showing you different ones you could drill a hole in uh, that beautiful look at this one nice and big this one this is beautiful one Look at that, oh, but heavy. And also that beautiful, beautiful, dusty <laughs> uh, pot as well. I don't know what it's made of, earthenware. And oh, look, 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 what is, what do you, do you drink from that little, I don't know, how, do you drink from that? What do, what do you use that for, for pencils? I don't know what you use them for, but it's cute. We can drill a hole in that one. Also, you could use salt and pepper shaker. Salt and pepper shaker. We're going to use you for our ceramic pots. Oh, cute little goblet. Look how cute that is. So you can also use crock pot. So crock pot one, crock pot two, and there's a ceramic in it. Look, this one, we can drill holes in that one. Oh, look, and this one, I got this one from Kmart. This one's, hang on. That's a set of three, which I think is a bargain for $10. Even that, it's just a little vase. You could drill a hole in that one, or I could drill a hole in that one. I'm going to drill a hole in those ones to use as succulent pots. Uh, we'll be using different shapes. Look, this is a flat pot, look. A beautiful ceramic pot. I'm just banging everything. Now, bowls. You can use bowls. So look, there's a price, $3.00. So I paid three dollars for that bowl because it's probably cheaper to buy. I don't know, there's no brand. But anyway, so I've got most of this from the markets, op shop or opportunity opportunity shop or thrift shop. Uh, my tongue doesn't work very well at one o'clock in the morning. But anyway, so little uh, bowls or oh, fifty cents. Look, Vinnie, Saint Vincent de Paul. Uh, that's our charity shops here. We call it op shops. Now, this one, look how beautiful that is. Nice and flat. Oh, okay. But we're going to drill a hole in that one too. This one, uh, it's got little legs. I don't know how much they were. They were $3.50 or $4 from Kmart. But that's a cute little pot, look, with legs, but there's no holes. So we're going to drill a hole in that one too. This one was actually $2 or $1.50 or something. Ball from Kmart. Beautiful. Look at the pattern. Pink. Butterfly. Um, that's uh, a good ball. Cereal ball. And 
this one is look crock pot so it's got a crack on the lid but it doesn't matter we don't need a lid so you could I'm gonna drill a hole in that one and use that for succulents putting succulents but look how pretty that is so this lot I got them really cheap the most expensive one is probably this one in the bottom here I paid twelve dollars for this but look how beautiful that is see I'm gonna use this as an example to drill a hole in I think I don't know if it's ceramic or porcelain but it looks very delicate so we're gonna pick one delicate one to drill a hole uh, on the next video this is not a drilling hole video I'm just showing you cheap pots that you can get for your plants or succulents so uh, I put that away and I have to find a thick one with a very difficult bottom uh, this one is already got a hole in the bottom so it's just rubber cap so but then the top we need to drill a hole in that one so I'm going to use this one as an example actually the shoe we'll take the shoe we'll put it on the table here so we can drill a hole in that one so there's two now and um, salt and pepper shaker okay <laughs> you bought it <laughs> you break it you bought it but anyway so this one this is like a little urn and is it an urn I don't know but anyway it's cute look at the pattern look at the design oh so gorgeous that would make beautiful succulent pot so this one is a candle holder okay so this candle holder it's got a hole or none <laughs> in the bottom it doesn't have a hole so we're gonna drill a hole from the bottom in the bottom and also on the top so I'm gonna show you how to do that okay help me pick which one do I get next okay so something that because the, the other ones that's easy you can easily drill holes in it but do I use glass okay this glass as well so this is actually good so if I could drill a hole on this one you can drill a hole on anything see so we'll we'll take the little sort of flat bottom and no hole bottom okay so that's a good selection for our pots this one's already I've already drilled a hole on that one see I already put uh, put it outside to put some plants in it but then I put it in a pot that's why it's got dirt in it and then this one's the same it's already got hole and oh look that one the little swan not gorgeous it's a vase it's a flower vase or vase and um, that's already got a hole as well this one this is actually oh I like this one time began in the garden it's called the Garden of Eden, <laughs> and it's got snakes in it. There's a snake in it. <laughs> anyway, so that one, okay, we we start with this one. We, we start with you. We'll drill a hole in you as well. Oh, this is looking very pretty here in my collection here. So, anyway, we're just going to start off with that, but I'm just going to show you what else goodies I've got here it's not really goodies it's just to give you ideas what you can use so this one is a cute little um, I don't know it's just a little is that an egg cup or eggnog cup or a drinking cup I don't know what you are but you're cute this one nice and flat and solid beautiful pot for succulent oh this one that's gorgeous so that's only cheap it's only like six dollars or something like that came out that one Oh, this one also uh, a tea a tea is that a tea caddy so this is where you put your tea or your biscuit I don't know what a Chinese uh, writing means or Japanese is that Japanese are you Japanese I don't know so it must be Japanese character it's the other way around there you go so that's like tea house I think that's what it says because there's a house and <laughs> there's a man running <laughs> he's running because he's hungry he wants to have a tea okay so that's the one so again this one is, okay just an idea you can just squeeze this and that will just pop out and then you can slide off 
the little bar across here and then there you go bob's your angle everything falls off and you're just going to be left with this little uh succulent pot now that you can use or you can put you can put indoor plants in it or whatever you want just get a little saucer for them so because they don't have saucers anymore and it's gonna leak it's gonna get your furniture sweat but anyway so we'll put that one there so what else so that's a salt and pepper shaker i think this is a salt because pepper normally i only have one hole see so that's a salt shaker it's got a hole in the bottom but there's no holes on top so you have to make an opening for the top which means you need something a little bit bigger to drill that in which is going to be actually tricky so should i put you aside as well okay i'll put you aside because i think you, you you'd be nice uh to drill a hole in to show my lovelies how to drill a hole on you okay so that's a lot now but there's a very colorful selection there those mugs like that so i think they're nice and big oh i've got a pretty mug somewhere this one oh this one too look see how cute this thing is i just set it there you're gonna fit in there yeah you can stay there for now so this one as well drill holes that would be really easy to drill a hole but then it's shallow in the bottom so that's the tricky part of drilling a hole because the water is going to stay in there you need water so don't, you don't burn out your drill bit so anyway this one is glass i think are you porcelain or glass maybe porcelain it's got a name what's your name hand printed by m haston i feel bad now I'm m haston if i'm gonna drill a hole on your beautiful purple vase so that would make a nice succulent pot for something. Oh, this one too. <gasps> okay, how gorgeous is that little flower basket? Hey, okay, but no holes. Now also those ones, those jugs. Now the jug and this one. Oh, this is so gorgeous as well. Ah, oh, it's a little vase. I think it's a vase uh, with those Chinese kids playing in the garden scene. That'd be beautiful to drill a hole in and look that's going to be tricky to drill a hole oh let's drill a hole in that one too a big mass or oh, tiny ones like this too they're so cute for little bonsai uh succulents to put them in now this one it's a beautiful scenery in it like that's beautiful looks and also big pots like this oh that one's huge this one can easily drill holes in it no problem and it's got holes in it, I think, to let the potpourri out. But anyway, so dried flowers or something like that you put in it. Or is that incense? No, it's not. But anyway, this one would be a good uh, one to use for planting succulents. So look, the little holes. You can stick all the succulents in there and then you've got something sort of crawling. It'd be gorgeous anyway. So that's the idea. And this one too, look at that. That's beautiful, beautiful. So, okay, guys, why do I wake up feeling like this? Because you haven't had any sleep yet. It's quarter past one. There you go. The things I do for love. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, Rafiki. Oh, hello, Rafiki. Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. Look at those eyes. So... That's it guys, just hope I got you got some idea as to what sort of pots you can use, basically anything and everything. If you can drill a hole in it, you can use it for planting succulents, so you're only really limited by your imagination. So now, next video, drilling holes on pots for succulents.